let us start with the how to fix camera. Let me draw a few objects in the scene. In the scene, we have uh, three objects and there is no camera or anything. Only we have is the perspective view. Perspective view, you can zoom, etc. using your middle mouse button. But when you fix the camera, it will be more effective because without camera, rendering effectively will not be possible. Suppose you have a background image. We are constructing, going to design a building and you want to show to the client how the building is going to look like with the surrounding, the original background, how it is going to look like. So in that case, you will keep your background image. You will go to the site, you will take a photograph. You keep that photograph as the background then how will you adjust your building match with that background, which is not possible using the perspective. If you use just perspective, you may feel that the building is just plotting. So where you will be using the camera? With the camera adjustment, you can see that you can adjust the position of the building such a way that how it is going to look like after the completion. So very, very powerful. So you require camera fixing. So even though there are a lot of cameras, we are going to concern about two different cameras. You go to free ca camera here. So there are official camera, target camera, free camera. Free camera is these two we are not going to deal today. This is free camera is basically used for animation. This is a little advanced, we will see later. We will concentrate in the target. When you click the target, then you Go to the top view, you fix a camera, you fix the camera and show the location of your object. These are your targets. This is your camera. So there is one point here which is target and this is your camera. Still your view is in perspective only. You see that you are looking from here. Plan you are looking from here. Everything is there. So let us convert this into camera viewport. So once you have finished it, you can go here, it's from perspective, click. There is a camera has come because camera is there now. Click camera. You see, we have reached a camera viewport. Okay, so you can adjust the viewport using many, many. Many, many uh, supporting uh, icons here. When you go to the camera viewport, the navigation bar completely changed and this is related to your camera now. So when you are in the top viewport, see that your navigation is different. When you come to camera viewport, the navigation is separate. When you take the first one, suppose I they take the first one and you just add this. So you can see that, let me select this camera with this. So I have selected the, I mean the camera viewport. So the first Dolly camera, there are three options available. The first one, you see that you are moving only the camera. The target is as it is there, you are moving camera. Second option here is you are moving the destination, that is the target. You are moving the target. Third one is you are moving the entire camera including the target point. 
Okay, so there are options available here. When you go down here, this is field of view. Okay, that's the field of view. You can see that the camera is as it is there. He's adjusting the lens. Field of view from here. When you come here, perspective. You can see the little perspective view that is finally touching can do for the perspective view. Perspective view in the camera. When you come here, you can take this down or up. Again, there is another option there. Actually, you are just panning the view. You are not touching the camera. You see, the camera is not touching. You are just adjusting the your viewport using the field of view. This is just adjusting the position of the camera. You see how camera is adjusted. And here it is, uh, you can roll, roll the camera. You can roll the camera. And here is your pan camera. You see here, pan camera. So there are different options available here and you can use and adjust your position. Even you can adjust from here also. For example, I can adjust from here. I can adjust from here. You see now. So sometimes if you don't, don't get that effect from the navigation, you can go other viewport and adjust. You can see that maybe then later we can adjust. So we can go to other viewport or so we can adjust your viewports accordingly. So this is the camera. I hope you got some idea about camera fixing. So you'll be starting creating the camera with the top viewport. Click the target camera, click the first point. That is a camera point and show your target point. And after that, you adjust your view based on the navigation. This navigation will work only when you go to camera viewport. You can change the perspective viewport from here. Camera, select the camera. That's how you do the camera. I hope you got some idea about camera. Regarding the free camera that will be used for animation, if you have time, maybe later I will explain you. We do a small animation and I can explain you there. Now let us move on to the lighting. Let me open another file. Okay. Um, we are going to learn about lighting. When you go here, lighting, there are two types of lighting. One is photometric and the standard. So you'll be concentrating only standard. When you click the standard, photographic also similar, minor changes will be there, but only thing is that you may require little strong computer, otherwise it may give error. So we'll concentrate, and because of shortage of time, we'll just concentrate standard, right, which will be commonly used. So here we'll be concentrating with two type of lighting, omni light and target spot. Other things I will explain you later. We'll concentrate in the target and spotlight. So we are in the light. So I have I have a screen here and I will render this. You can see that you render. There is no lighting there now. So when you have not created any lighting, it create have it will be having default light. So no default light will be there. When you create your own, when you create your own lights, the default light will be switched off. Okay. So when you rendered here, there is some light here, but when you create your own light, this will be switched off. Let me go to Omni Light here. Let me create. I'm in the front viewport. I will create a light here. Click. 
you can see immediately the light switch off only you get the light effect of your first light you see the light is coming from there let me create another one from here click so i created another light from down so you have two lights here okay so i can so this light when you go to modify there are something available which can modify these lights when you go to intensity when i selected this i went to modifier you can see now this light we have selected so the light is coming here when you switch off you see there is no light only you get light from the first only light on so you can on and off your light okay from general parameters you can on and off this is a normally light now if you render it suppose i have let's see what happens let me render this now you can see render now shadow is not all on i will switch on the shadows so in the general parameter there is shadows it is off now on now let's see what happens so sh shadow has come okay i will switch off this light i will select this light modify off and i will switch on this light it is on now i have this light which is you have to go to that particular view where you want to okay so the light is not properly fixed we can move that light move up you can see that there is shadows because shadow is on shadow is off you will not see the shadow so you can switch on shadow whenever required okay so let me switch on now we have switched on only one light other light there is no light coming from there which is off now Okay, I will switch on that also. So now you have both the lights, and both lights come the the shadow may be different. You will not see the shadow probably because light is coming from light is coming from here. You can switch off one of the light and you can see the shadow. And here we'll switch on the shadow for this. Let's see the shadow coming from here. Okay, we can. switch on the light you can switch on the shadow and suppose you want to get this light this one now it is white light coming you can change the color of the light i'll click here i'll change some other color you can see that you can give a color light also you can give a color light when you render you have to go to the you see light has come so you can give color light also and there is a multiplier here it is just like a 60 bulb bulb and 100 bulb when you increase the multiplier the intensity of light coming will be more okay for example when i change it to multiplier 2 
you see it became more intensity has increased intensity has increased so if you want to have more light more intensity you can increase the multiplier so multiplier increases the intensity of the light like 60 watts bulb and 100 watts bulb okay so when you come here only light you have seen light can be on and off shadows can be on and off under intensity multiplier can be increased and you can have color light okay so these are the things regarding the omni light omni light is nothing it is a like a bulb which scatters light all the directions omni lights are something which gives all the direction so you can go to different let me switch on that okay now let us move on to target light let me open another here i have two spotlights spotlight one spotlight two let me delete it and we'll create our own spotlight so this is coming from the front and there is another one coming from the side okay so let me delete and let us make our own so this is the scene we have there are two walls here light and some columns here and the camera let us render it and see so there is no proper light there only default light is there which is not enough so we are going to create our own lights and we are going to create spotlight so i'll go to lights standard light target spot click light camera you show the first uh, your light point and show the target you can render and see you now see the light has come from there so this is the light number 1 you can adjust little bit uh, move come here and adjust it a little bit go here render so you have one light here which is spotlight number 1 when you select this spot you can see here spotlight number 1 we'll create another from this side so i'll go to target spotlight select from here okay render let us adjust this little position render you can this is a light you can move your light using this one if you want to use the target that also you can do click target also you can adjust little bit so select move and move that so this is a target okay 
you can select from here also. Sometimes you will get in the target is difficult. Spot to target. So go to different, different uh, viewports and adjust your light and camera accordingly. I'm just uh, adjusting positions, okay. So I have two spotlight, one from the front and the other from the side. So how I differentiate which one, which one? So what I will do is I will select this one. I will go to modifier and there are again so many parameters like the omni parameters you have you can on and off when you off the light is off now render so your the light is off on so when you render two are there now. So how will you differentiate this? What we'll do is we'll change the color of one of this. So in the front, we have selected the spotlight number one. Intensity, click here. I will change this color so that it will be a little easy for us to differentiate. can see red now. So the spot number number one, which is from the front, giving you a little reddish color, not exactly reddish. You can change it to different colors. Let's make it a little greenish color, not too much, just to differentiate only. Let's see, just to differentiate only. And when you render this, Okay, so here, first is general parameters. You can on and off. You can shadow on and off. Now there is no shadow on here. There is no shadows at all. You have selected the front before. Let's just switch on the shadow and see which are the shadows created by the first spotlight. Shadows on. See, this column is reflected here, shadow there. This light is also shadow. Okay. When you want to put the spotlight like this, the spotlight affects this light as well as this column. Suppose you don't want that light on this, light you don't want the effect on that. So you can exclude that. Exclude, what you want to exclude? Text object, click here. So you want to exclude text object, okay? Render, you can see, you remove the text object from the selection. Now this light is coming from this light only, not from this. That's why shadow is not coming. Now the light is coming because of the other light only. So you can exclude any object from affecting your spotlight. Suppose you don't want this column to be affected with this. Exclude column number one. Okay, okay, red. You see that? Uh, light coming from spotlight number one is not ex affecting the column as well as the text object now because you exploded both of them. So you can exclude, can be used to add, you can add the effect if you want. You can switch on the shadows and you can go down here, intensity, you can change the color 
And same way you can change the multiplier. Suppose you say two. So the too much light has come. So that green has came down because you gave the multiplier two. Let's keep back one. Okay. And another thing is that uh, there are so many parameters. Don't worry about all the parameters. Multiplier and color. I will go to spotlight parameters. In the spotlight parameters, when show cone is there, it is showing a cone light. Suppose you click the overshoot. You don't want this overshoot. And let us render. We get the light throughout. The overshoot means instead of giving the light only in the spot, it gives you light all the direction. So sometimes you can use the spotlight as a lighting source for other objects also. Okay, so usually it will be show cone like this one. And now we can see the edges are very sharp. So this is controlled by two parameters called hotspot and fall off. Hotspot and fall off. Let me make it a little bigger. And you can see when I select this, there are two circles here. Can you see two circle? One is inner circle and one is outer circle. So inner circle is called hotspot. Inner circle is which is giving the maximum light is called hotspot and the outer light is called fall off. The outer circle is called fall off which keeps the boundary up to which the light has to go. You can see the inner hotspot value is 31 and outer value is 33. So it's almost same value. That is why you are getting the sharp image. You are getting the sharp image because the hot spot and fall off are almost nearby. Let us change this fall off value little bigger value. Now hot spot is 31. I'll give fall off. Now which is 33, I will change it to 36. Now I will you see that it became bigger. Now let us render. You can see it became sharpness reduced. Sharpness reduced here. I can make it a little more 40. Render. See it began. Spread now. Sharpness has gone. Okay, so whenever we want a sharp projection. You have to use hot spot and fall off value very close together. And keep, of course, the fall off will be a little bigger than the short hot spot. Definitely, fall off value will be a little bigger than hot spot. So now I kept it back. Now my hot spot value is 31 and fall off value is 33. And now we can render it and see it again became sharp. Okay. So that's how you control hotspot parameters. And here you can see the hotspot is now circular. You can make it to rectangular if you want. So it is circle now. I can change it to rectangle. And render. See that it became rectangular projection. Rectangular projection. Okay, now let me switch off uh, this and off. And you have only one light now, which is from side, it's coming. So I'll go to second one, side spotlight two. 
you can see here number spotlight two. And you can same parameters on off shadows exclude intensity light color spotlight parameters we have cone power shoot hotspot fall off very close value circle rectangular so let me make it to rectangle Let's see, rectangle. I can reduce this value a little bit, I'll say 25. And 28. Let's see now, can I adjust the value of that projection? So I made a rectangle. And very interesting is that you can project an image here. Suppose we want to show a special effect that the light is coming from outside. Suppose this is a glass window and the light is coming from outside. How will you show that? I can use the projector here. There is a projector map. Click this. Click this. Projector map, bitmap, and select one image. I will project this one. Let us see render and see now. You see that light is coming from outside. You projected it. Okay, the multiplier is very small. We'll increase the multiplier value, intensity of the light. So it'll be more effective. So intensity, multiplier is only one now. We make it to two. And uh, light increased. Make it to four. See, increase. Now, you will see that uh, you will, may feel that you are the light is coming from because the column it is projecting on the column also. Okay, so I will use the extrude and remove the column. Extrude, column number two. Okay, and uh, so it is not projected on that now. It is projected on the light. Let me extrude that also, text object. Okay, enter. See now, it looks a glass window opened and it is reflecting the light. So that is the power of a spotlight where we can use the using the projector light. So from where you get it, advanced parameters. From advanced effect, there is projector map. Click the select a map so you can project that map. So if you change it to circular, you get the circular. Spot the parameter circular. So you get the circular effect now. See circular effect. So very, very interesting and very powerful effect of that. Okay. So what are the things we covered regarding the so camera we have completed, target spot we adjustable cone of light and shadows. We can adjust all these things. We can switch on the target spot on, shadows on. We can extrude to extrude any object from shadows, etc. And you can increase the multiplier, you can give the color. Under spotlight parameter, you can use the or shoot. When you switch on the or shoot, you get the full light instead of the spot effect. Then projection can be a circle or rectangle. Then we have seen hot spot, which is the brighter inner circle, and the outer extreme circle is fall off. When hot spot and fall off values are very close, you get a sharp edge. Under advanced effect, we can use a projector map to project where the light is projected. Use project map and select an image if required for brightness. Regarding other uh, two 
two types of uh, spotlight, free spot, target direct, free direct. We'll see later, it's not that much important. And some of these lights are used for the uh, animation and other things. 